Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to transfer multiple SQL tables from one server to another one. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how we can transfer multiple SQL tables from one server to another one. So recently I got a question from one of my subscriber, Altaf Hussain and the question was that my requirement is that I want to copy a few tables data from production server to stage server by using SSIS. So I thought to make a video on this one because it might be helpful for others as well. So let's jump to the demo. So this is my SQL Server 2019 instance and actually I got two instances installed on my machine. SQL Server 2019 instance and SQL Server 2017 instance. Okay. So I will be copying few tables from SQL Server 2019 instance from work database. So I have several tables here. So I will be copying several tables from this particular database to SQL Server 2017 instance and into the work database. So as of now if I show you there is no table in the work database. So all the tables will be copied from the source database into the, this particular database. So I will be copying some selected tables here. Okay. So let me open the blank SSIS package. So this is my blank SSIS package where I will be writing the code to move tables from one database to another one. Okay. So let me just remove this one. Yeah. So there is a task in SSIS which can actually migrate the tables from one database to another one. So if you go to the other task, so there is a task here transfer SQL server objects. So you can just drag and drop the transfer SQL server object task and then we can just configure this particular task which can transfer the tables or view from or indexes or any SQL server object like logins it can transfer from one database server to another database server so let me just configure this particular task you can right click on it and click on edit and if you go to the object so maybe you can maximize this one under connection there is an option source connection so we can select this option we can click on new connection here here we need to provide the name of the source sql server instance so my source sql instance is sql server 2019 instance so i can copy the name from here for the sql server 2019 instance I can change it to 2019 and I can click on test connection. So the test connection is succeeded. I can click on OK. OK. Now I need to select the source database from which database I want to copy the tables. So my source database is work database. So this seems good. Now we need to select the destination connection. So I can just click on new connection here. And my destination connection is SQL Server 2017 instance this one okay so i can place the destination sql server 2017 name here and i can click on test connection so the test connection is succeeded here as well so i can click on okay okay now i need to select the destination database so my destination database is work as well because i want to copy the tables to the this particular database now there are multiple options here inside the destination there is an option drop object first so when it will transfer the SQL table, so if the table will already exist, then do you want to drop the table? So I will select yes, because if a table will already be there, then I want to drop the table and I want to create a fresh table there and I want to load everything to it. Okay. So I can select drop object first. Now another option is include extended property. So this is used for documentation. So I can let it to false. Now there is an option copy data. So this is false. And because I want to copy the data, so I will set it to true. Okay. Now there is an option copy schema. Yeah. So of course I want to copy the schema. So it is true. Use collation. So do you want to use the same collation, whatever the collation is for the source table? So it's up to you. You can set it to true or false. So as of now, let it to false. Include dependent objects. So you can set it to true if you want to, for example, include the dependent objects like the primary key or the foreign key so I will set it to true now inside destination copy options so there is an option copy all objects so do you want to copy the all objects like all tables so I can select it to false because I do not want to copy all objects I only want to copy some selected tables okay so that's why I will set it to false now there is an option here objects to copy so here we need to select the objects which I want to copy so there is an option copy all tables so this is false now there is an option here table list so here we need to select the tables those we want to copy from the source to the destination so i want to copy for example buyers 
country customer email okay so i want to copy these four tables from source database to the destination database so i can select okay now there is an option copy all views so i do not want to copy the views and copy all store procedures so i also do not want to copy the store procedure so i i will just leave all the options as it is and then i will go to the security copy database users so i i do not want to copy the database users or some copy sql server login so i do not want to copy the logins as well now under table options there is an option copy indexes so do you want to copy the indexes so i can set it to true because i want to copy the indexes on the table copy triggers no i do, i do not want to copy the triggers and to copy primary key yeah i want to copy the primary key on the table copy foreign key yeah i want to copy the foreign key as well so i can set it to true so these are the settings that i have done you can just do the settings according to your use as well so i have configured the transfer sql server object task and it will transfer four tables along with the data and indexes and primary key from source server to the destination server so i can click on okay so let me click on start button so that the ssis package can start and it can do the work for which it was created for so the package is running so it seems like the package got completed successfully and now let me open the sql server management studio and let me refresh the tables here so i can see the four tables those i actually moved from source server to destination server so for example let me check the data if we have the data in the table yeah so we got the data copied successfully and let me check the data in the customer table yeah so data is there in all the tables so this is good for example if you want to copy multiple tables maybe 50 tables or 100 tables then you can just configure one task in the ssis package and you don't need to write a single line of code and it can transfer all the selected tables from your source server to the destination server otherwise if you will be using for example the data flow task then you need to write a lot of code there and if you are going to do the same task using csharp.net or some other language then you need to write tons of code but this is the power of ssi is that you used a inbuilt task and which actually copied all the selected tables from one server to another server without writing a single line of code so i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time i upload a new video thank you so much